What's up guys, Nolan here, and today we're going to be talking about why Gear Fear is actually very good for new players, then when and how to break it in our usual short and clear fashion. First things first, if you have fun playing the flea market or running around with a pistol pretending that you're John Wick, don't let anybody tell you different because that is not Gear Fear. Gear Fear is specifically when somebody has millions of rubles with nothing that they want to spend it on, yet they still decide to just bring a pistol, Mosin, or some scav leftovers when completing tasks. They have enough money for at least five good gear loadouts, so there's nothing to worry about. Gear Fear, when under about two million rubles, is different because then you truly are just a few geared deaths away from being broke unless you have a full stash. The reason why Gear Fear is actually very good for new players is because it will get you into the game faster and more often when all you need to think about is your favorite pistol and vest rather than armor, ammo, and everything in between. You can avoid the vast majority of deaths by experiencing things you'll understand the exact same way whether you have a pistol or a 500k kit and we're going to get into that now. When you have more than 2 million rubles you should really be spending the extra money on something and that is what I consider gear fear. Sure it could be a little less for some people but let's be fair and call it a flat 2 million. If you are saving that money for the hideout then that's fine that doesn't count but if you otherwise have nothing that you want to spend that money on it should go to helping you improve at the game. What leads you to gear fear is spending the time and rubles on a loadout and losing it in raid. Every piece of loot has a story behind it and it hurts to lose that. Everybody gets it so don't worry. Now that you know what gear fear is, let's break it. Over the years of playing and teaching EFT, I've lived and seen every type of player out there, and one thing is always the same when it comes to how a new player fails in game. The vast, vast majority of your deaths come from your overall preparation for a raid, and I don't mean just gear, because sometimes that can even lead you to your death. We're gonna break down a checklist you need to go over in your head before going into any raid if you wanna start improving at the game. What's your goal? Where am I going? Who am I? And what is my gear going to do for me? If you don't know why you're doing what you're doing in raid, it will lead to confusion and unneeded stress. Decide what your goal is for the play session, then for every raid. A goal example would be completing the pocket watch task on customs for Prapper. You know the watch is in the truck, you know where the truck is, and you already have the key for the truck. So if you get to that truck and leave the raid, you're good. The last thing, if you are taking this raid seriously, is to not get distracted. Don't go hunting unnecessary fights or loot and get frustrated when you die. Get in, complete your goal, and get out if you really want to move forward. Now that you have your goal, think about where you're going. In this case, it's customs. How well do you know customs? Do you know all the extracts? Do you know the common player spawns? Do you know the danger areas? If you're unsure and you want to Mosin or pistol run a few times to get a feel for the map at low risk, that's fine. That's not gear fear. If you are below 2 million, that's just smart. Just make sure to at least bring the key with you in case you get lucky and make it there. Remember, offline doesn't always help you because you won't learn player tendencies when offline. Only scav locations and map knowledge. Once you know how to get to that truck from either side of the map and where to go afterwards in order to get out, start running it for real. This process should be the same for every task and map. Whatever info you need can be found in my other videos or the EFT wiki for sure. Next, do some soul searching for your PMC. What level are you? What level are your skills? And look at your stash. Blowing all your money on super heavy armor that weighs your low level PMC down or an expensive gun and ammo that won't help you if you can't shoot back is the main issue. Map knowledge is the cause for the vast majority of deaths so learn a map to the point of extracting alive several times before bringing full gear. Ideally this will be when you are below the 2 mil threshold. This is going back to that previous point that your deaths will most likely be about the same whether you have a pistol or a full kit when you are a new player. Now when it comes to gear, if you are below 2 mil, again do whatever you're comfortable with. If you are above 2 mil, how far above it are you? If you are multiples above it and are still doing no to low gear runs, stop. Break up the amount you have above 2 mil into at least 5 and then run your most difficult task with the best gear that you can get for that increment. Example is if you have 3 million, you should be running a 200k loadout 5 times to try and complete your task. Do not buy super expensive armor or ammo, your kit should be as balanced as possible. If you die, then learn what you can from each situation and move on knowing you still have plenty of cash to fall on and that this is part of the game. This is when you start upgrading things in your loadout based off of your deaths, but only make slight adjustments. And what I mean by slight adjustments is that if you get into fights, but you're not able to actually down the people that you're fighting, then maybe increase the quality of your ammo a little bit. If you are getting into fights, you are still able to down people, but you are not able to take too much damage yourself, then maybe increase your armor a little bit. But if you are dying instantly without really knowing any information, keep running what you're running and keep moving forward. From this point, either two things will happen. You'll either keep dying, but at the same time, you're going to be learning the value of gear compared to the value of game knowledge and leveling your soft skills. Or you'll never see 2 mil again. You'll realize you knew enough about the game all along and the only thing keeping you back was yourself. 
There's so many details here that can be videos on their own, and things like loadouts, spawns, money making, and most importantly, map knowledge. I have already made short and clear videos on these subjects that you can find in my EFT Like a Pro playlist. You can also learn from me personally if you come by my Twitch live streams, as each one is an open Q&A, and I even personally Sherpa Twitch subs in game. You can find more info in the description if you're interested. I hope this video helped you out, and if it did, you know the drill. I really appreciate the people who do. For those of you who lack the critical information, you can ask me in the comments or on my live streams. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a nice day. See you guys.